Hey, this is Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and I'm not wearing any pants. With that said, let's go ahead and check out the world outside. Yeah. Now, if you all remember, we were... Okay. If you all remember, we were uh, headed west to try to get to the Argon. I still think this is a fine idea. Cat, shut up. Shush, cat. Shush. No cat. I don't like you. Nobody loves you. Go away. I'm gonna squirt him. Where's my squirter? Cat, did you steal the squirter? Actually, no, I'm not mad. I, I'm just kind of surprised you were able to pick it up. All right. See this cat? You know what this is? This is the squirter. Get the hell away. Can't you see I'm trying to record my fantabulous video? Ah, hell or high water, we're gonna talk to the Argon today. Uh, do I have this set to verbose mode? Let's check all the sound settings. Yeah, verbose mode is still on. We're gonna turn up the volume a little bit on the music, because for some reason I cannot hear it when I'm actually checking my video. So let's see here. Whoa, hey! Okay, well that certainly makes uh, finding Westgate easier. Hey! Stop that! Stop that! Target now locked on. You guys excuse me, my cat is messing with me. Okay, I'm Grimwit from Natch Evil, and I'm now wearing pants. Target now locked on. Gate. Rokes. Drift. You're a Rokes Drift. What the heck is a Roke? Entering system. Rokes Drift. Whoa. Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. Is that all? Oh, whoa. I got a whole series of guys. Uh... Well, let's give them a proper welcome. Target is now in firing range. Let's see, here we go. Hey! In the name of Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron, we thank you for your... Oh no, I'm saving you for last. Reward, you get 100 credits. Oh, you s cheeky bastard. Target is now... Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. Whoop, missed him. The there we go. Alright, next. We thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, you get 100 credits. Target, target, unknown. Target, there now we go. Locked on. Yeah, yeah, whatever. In the name of Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron. Come on, where are you, you bastard? There you are. You get 100 credits. Whoa. Oh, would you stop that? Go away. In the name of Queen Atreus and the Kingdom All right, one left. We thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, you get 100 credits. And we know this guy, don't we? What the heck? Target now locked on. Boron Dolphin. Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. In the name of Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron, we thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, Whoa. you get 100 credits. Son of a... Okay, you are mine, little man. And the there we go. Of Boron. We thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, you get 500 credits. There we go, man. There we go. What you gonna do, brother? Okay, we are still on our trip. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and check out some of the sites to see. Whoa, whoa, uh, wrong button. Uh, yeah. Target now locked on. Bofu Chemical Lab. Delta. Whoop, damn it. Wrong button. Again. I'm so horrible at this button thing. Target now locked on. Bofu Chemical Lab. Beta. Target now locked on. Biogas Factory. Alpha. Cool. Biogas. 
That's right. The uh, the boron give you gas. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are scanned by boron octopus. Boron octopus. Target target now locked on boron octopus. Okay, hang on a sec. We gotta get the verbose mitt setting for this one. The octopus is the very latest in boron technology. Its three-legged design is revolutionary, and all races are very keen to know how effective it is. It is still thought to be undergoing its experimental trials, but according to information gained by the Argonne Secret Service, this ship has superseded all expectations and is now in full service. There are plans to build many more. I could totally take this thing. Target now locked on. Computer plan beta. Oh, I know a computer plan when I see one. What's this over here? Oh, that's just a mine. What kind of mine? Target now locked on. Ore mine beta. Cool, cool. And they sell their ore for quite a, quite a lot. Um, hmm. See, there's some asteroids in my way. There's one more place. Oh, it's another mine. So let's check it out. Target now locked on or mine alpha. Okay. Ah, that's actually not a bad, uh, bad deal there. Maybe next time. I must get to the Argon this episode. Target now locked on. Gate. Kingdom end. I guess this is where the kingdom ends. <laughs> Entering system. Kingdom end. No bad guys this time. Let's see here. And of course, as always, our friends the Xenon are at Southgate. Let's try this place first. Target now locked on or mine gamma. Target now locked on silicon mine alpha. All right, now where's this gate? Oh, it's way the heck down there. Do they need help? No, they're fine. Whoa! Hang on a second. Target now locked on. Boron shark. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. We need verbose mode for this one, too. Verbose mode. Go. Alright. Tell me about the Boron shark. The Boron shark is a fast carrier class battleship that has only recently come into service. It replaced the much older and outdated Boron cuttlefish. It is believed that this new ship was designed and constructed in light of the rumors of the Xenon BMS, and together with the Argon-1, presents a formidable opposition to any enemy. It is well known that Argon technology was traded with the Boron to enable them to produce such a ship, and that the two ships were designed to complement each other. Huh! That's actually a clever little uh, bit of information right there. Very cool. All right, I'm going to keep verbose mode on because we're about to enter a new territory. We're going to talk to the Argon, baby. Target now locked on. Boron eel. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Eel? Eel? Why are they even calling them, like, these kinds of names? Like, human fish names? A twin-hulled, fast, and deadly fighter craft. It is armed with two front-mounted lasers. Its basic design is based on an older Boron ship called Wasp that historically fought against the Split and made a successful appearance in the Boron campaign. Its pilots are the chosen elite of Boron Fighter Command and are all hardened and experienced fighter pilots who gained their experience in the smaller fleet fighters. Just taking a look at my own deals. See, I'm at 10,000 shields and 12,000 lasers, and the guy back there was at 35,000 shields and 9,000 lasers. I've one-upped him on lasers, but he could outlast me. Hmm. Entering system. Three worlds. Alright, boom. We are in Argon territory. Cool, cool, cool. 
So, um... Hmm. Target now locked on. Gate. Kingdom. End. Why is it called Three Worlds? There's no... There's only one world. It's like right there. Oh. Oh. One. Two. Three. Three. Three worlds. Ah. 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 What's... Ooh, what's that? Okay. You're gonna be my first target. Because I gotta know what the hell you are. Target now locked on. Kahuna Bakery. Beta. Bakery? Oh, please. Oh, please. Kahuna Bakeries are huge orbit factories processing Argnu beef into meat steaks. Armies of robots are needed to maintain the complex process. During more than a dozen stages, the raw meat is slowly processed into the food product everyone knows as meat steaks. It is a nutritious meat-based foodstuff that when blended with boron spices makes a diverse range of foods that suit the taste of most races. Lately, in an attempt to expand trade, the Argon have begun to blend meat steaks with scruffin in order to create a food that will appeal to other races, especially the split. Oh my god, you guys, do you see the prices of energy cells here? 24? 24? Jiminy Christmas. Also, uh, yeah, meat steaks? The heck, kahuna meat steaks? Just saying, man. Just saying. Oh, that has got to be some kind of uh, energy plant right there. You know what? We might just make our first trade. Let's go talk to these people. All right, man. Open those doors and let me in. This is the Argon Solar Power Plant. Positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, welcome aboard the Argon Federation's solar power plant. President and senator? Wait, this looks like Talati technology. Wow, I, to I am totally underwhelmed. Established. Ooh. Energy cells bought. Target now locked on. Kahuna Kahuna bakeries are huge orbit factor. Okay, energy cells still sell for like sky high. All right, now how do I get into you? Incidentally, if you ever are at a bar and you want to pick up a woman, the best thing you can tell her is, how do I get into you? This is the positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Successfully All right, done. we're in. Alright, this looks a little more futuristic. Thank you. Doesn't look like the friggin' Talati technology anymore. And look, big vats of meat. Because that's how you should... Connection to local trading network established. Argon meat steaks are traded throughout the X universe. They provide a nutritious meat-based food suitable for most types of races. Some races prefer to use argon meat steaks in conjunction with different boron spices. It is traded in blocks known as kahunas. Okay. Energy cells sold. Oh, Deluxian wheat. Cool. Tell me about it. Deluxian wheat is grown on the plains of argon. It is a yellowish green plant that stands four to five feet tall. The top of the plant produces grain, which when threshed, produces a versatile flower-like substance which forms the substance for all argon foodstuff. Argon settlers have taken this plant wherever they have colonized a planet, and nowadays even grow it on gigantic farms floating in space. Ooh, floating farms. See, now that's the future right there. You don't need, like, a planet to have uh, uh, food. You just make a floating space farm. I love this game. Everything is space. Argnu originally roamed wild over the lower foothills of the Argon mountain ranges and were first hunted by the early Argons. After the Argon boost in knowledge, they were farmed in vast herds. This meat, when processed for off-planet export, is sold in half-ton pressed blocks, known as kahuna meat steaks. 
do does anybody else think that these arg argnu argnu beef steaks does anybody else think these look like hearts and that's a green heart right there all right well you know what let's uh let's go ahead and save and we are going to go out we need to find a trading station the first thing i need to do is get me a license to kill and ooh, we actually made like uh yeah, we made like ten thousand dollars doing that. Ten thousand space creds. All right. Okay, that's some kind of weapon factory. That's definitely some kind of. Uh, uh, ooh, there's a mine. All right, we know what that. Ooh, what are you? What are you? Cool. Okay, we're gonna go over there. Target now locked on. Free Argon Trading Station. Ooh, it's a free Argon trading station. Oh. Tell me about it, computers. Typical Argon space station used throughout entire Argon Federation territory. Developed by Argon over many years, these space stations provide the highest standards of both comfort and technology. Each station is fitted with bars, restaurants, casinos, holographic cinemas, and accommodation. They are fine rest and recreation centers. Each space station is under jurisdiction of the Argon Federation and is governed by an elected senator. He represents the station in the main Argon Parliament. Pilots can expect friendly welcome. All right, you in the split? Cool, let's go and talk to some friendly welcoming uh, Argon people and get a license to kill. Oh. All right. Permission to land, man. Please start as soon as you get green position light. Oh, uh... Say, could you open up? Open up, please. Alright. Everything is good in the hood. I might be a little dizzy. Cool. Let's dock ourselves at uh, Babylon 5 here. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, welcome aboard the Argon Federation trading station. Whoa! Dude! 3D technology! This place is actually kind of. Ah! Okay, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I was afraid we were going to crash. Alright, we're good. We're good, everybody's fine. We're all fine here. I didn't mean to scare you. Connection to local trading network established. Hook me up, baby. Argon law enforcement license bought. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here, guys, for today. I think we made a lot of good uh, good cloth rhymes. What the hell? We, we made a lot of good progress here, and uh, I will see you later.